This weekend, downtown Austin will transform into an urban scavenger hunt. The Day of Family Fun helps support Austin-based nonprofit Wonders and Worries, which helps the children of parents facing a serious injury or disease diagnosis. Our Kelsey Thompson sat down with some of the nonprofit's team members to talk about that decades-long mission and what's in store this weekend. With the nonprofit Wonders and Worries, um, what is the mission statement of this nonprofit organization? It provides free professional support to children and families when a parent has a serious illness or injury. So you can imagine for families when you have a parent who is diagnosed um, with, for example, cancer, um, or when they have an injury that really impacts their ability to connect and communicate with their children, we want to provide that family with support. And so we work with children ages 2 to 18. Um, everything is always free to the families. It's available in English and Spanish. And the children receive a six-session curriculum um, that is a curriculum that we've designed, it is copyrighted, and it is around illness education um, and coping skills. So basically children understand what's happening with their parent, they understand the diagnosis, the treatments, the potential side effects, they're able to express their emotions, ask questions, and then they develop coping skills. And it is really magical. Um, if there is such a thing as a magic wand, I think Wonders and Worries brings that to these families. I want to get into this weekend's scavenger hunt and event because it sounds like <laughs> such an absolute blast for all the families and folks who are coming out. Um, give me the lowdown. What is happening this weekend? What do folks need to know if they want to attend this urban scavenger hunt? What happens is that they come and they are able to do the hunt itself on an app. So they do it on Goose Chase and they download the app to their phone and then the clues go live. The hunt goes from 10 o'clock till noon. So you have two hours to kind of go around town and do good deeds or answer clues in the app. Um, and you can answer them usually either with a pin drop or you can post a video or you can put in the answer to a question. Um, and we have amazing corporate sponsors that every year come out and help. So they will sponsor clue stops or they will sponsor good deeds. Um, and we have a lot of sponsors that also provide in-kind donations. So that afterwards, when everyone comes to Zilker Lodge and Zilker Park for the after party, um, we have activities for kids to do, we have raffles that are given away, and we have prizes for the winning teams, as well as a delicious lunch. We also have prizes that are awarded to first, second, and third place teams. So each of those clues um, that people are solving from 10 to 12 have a certain point value associated with them. Um, and so there's a little competition involved, um, but uh, there are great prizes. For example, this year, the first place prize are for ACL wristbands. Um, and then there are also wonderful prizes, as Nicole mentioned, donated by so many local companies. Um, and we also have prizes for the best dress team, as well as the most creative. Well, you can check in for the scavenger hunt at 930 Saturday morning while the search runs until noon. There will be food, music and prizes at Zilker Lodge from noon until 2 p.m. We have more details on that event and how to get involved in the nonprofit's work online at KXAN.com. Just click on to Kelsey's story.